The buzz in the automotive world right now is like nothing we've seen in years, maybe even decades. For those who follow electric vehicles, for those who have been waiting, saving, and dreaming of the day when clean transportation would be affordable for everyone, that day isn't a distant fantasy anymore. It's here, it's real, and it's arriving faster than anyone expected. In the fourth quarter of this year, Tesla is bringing new, more affordable models to the market for everyone. Elon Musk declared it himself, but what caught even the most seasoned analysts off guard wasn't just the timeline, it was the price. The 2026 Tesla Model 2 is arriving now with a price tag that people across the globe, especially in China, can barely believe. We're talking about a fully functional Tesla for under $10,175. Stop for a moment and think about that. We're already past the midpoint of 2025. That means we are standing right at the edge of an electric future, not reading about it in abstract forecasts, not hearing about it as part of some vision for the next decade, but watching it come to life in real time. This isn't a rumor whispered in online forums or a hopeful rendering posted by fan accounts. This is the moment Elon promised, and it's a moment that marks a turning point not just for Tesla but for the entire automotive industry. For years, affordability has been a phrase tossed around in press releases and interviews, often used as a future aspiration rather than a present reality. But now it's no longer a quote, it's a strategy in action, a move that is about to reshape what people expect from an electric car. And here at Torque Element, we're about to unpack when the real EV revolution begins. So stay right here because this story is the blueprint for the next era of transportation. If you happen to be one of the few who still hasn't joined the community, you might just be the 2000th person to subscribe and be part of the conversation that hears about the future before the rest of the world catches up. And trust me, this is one of those times when you don't want to hear the news secondhand. Why is Arrives Now such a big win for American drivers? Well, there's the obvious fact that a cheaper Tesla means more people can own one. But the real story runs deeper. It's about how Tesla is executing this plan and why it's different from anything we've seen before. Tesla has a strategy to bring the Model 2 to American roads faster than almost anyone believed possible. And it's not some hazy promise that gets delayed year after year. This is a timeline supported by real-world actions, hard data, and concrete commitments that are already in motion. Behind the scenes, things have been moving at a pace that even Tesla's biggest fans might find surprising. Recent leaks reveal that Tesla is targeting a global reveal of the Model 2 by June of 2025, with test drives in the United States possibly beginning as early as late 2025 or the start of 2026. The first cities to get their hands on the steering wheel? Places like New York, Los Angeles, and Chicago. Major urban centers with massive media visibility and diverse consumer bases. This isn't about waking up tomorrow and finding a Model 2 sitting in your driveway, it's about laying the groundwork so you can get behind the wheel far sooner than the industry's usual pace. And if you know anything about Tesla's past launches, you'll know they're learning from experience. Chief Financial Officer Vibe of Taneja hinted at this launch on Tesla's fourth quarter 2024 earnings call, saying outright, we are still on track to launch a more affordable model in the first half of 2025. That translates to pre-orders and test drives potentially hitting American shores by early 2026. The reason this is credible comes down to how specific Tesla is being. They're talking about test drives in over 50 US cities, with a particular focus on areas that have high retiree populations like Florida and California. This is the exact same strategic pattern they followed with the Model Y, start where demand is high in communities that have both the income and the lifestyle that align with Tesla ownership. The twist? This time they're doing it in a far shorter time frame, compressing years of preparation into mere months. And that compression isn't random, it's the result of Tesla leveraging every lesson they've learned from their previous launches to accelerate this one. For you, the consumer, this means an opportunity to see, touch, and test drive the Model 2 before most of the world even gets a glimpse. That matters because while you can read spec sheets and watch videos all day, nothing replaces the moment you sit in the driver's seat and decide for yourself whether it's worth your hard-earned money. Here's where the story gets even more compelling. Production isn't just on the drawing board, it's already in motion. First builds are expected to roll out in late 2025 from either the Fremont factory or the Texas Gigafactory, with Tesla targeting 50,000 units for 2026 alone. This isn't speculation. Supplier reports have confirmed Tesla's internal project, codenamed Redwood, with details about parts orders, delivery schedules, and financial commitments. These are the kinds of contracts that aren't made lightly, they bind Tesla to deliver, and they involve millions of dollars that no company risks unless they're absolutely committed. The American automotive industry has never seen a rollout quite like this. 
Traditionally, the journey from concept to a car you can actually buy takes three to five years, often delayed by the slow grind of design approvals, manufacturing setup, and distribution logistics. Tesla is blowing past that tradition, shrinking the cycle to under 18 months from announcement to actual test drives. For an industry that has historically moved at a pace closer to glacial than lightning, that's revolutionary. And the secret to this speed lies in a strategy that insiders call pop-up production. Rather than spending years building brand new facilities, Tesla is reconfiguring existing Model 3 and Model Y assembly lines in their US factories specifically for the Model 2. This is manufacturing judo, using the momentum and infrastructure you already have to produce something entirely new without the delay and cost of starting from scratch. This move saves Tesla over $1 billion in startup costs compared to building new facilities, and those savings don't just disappear into the company's balance sheet, they're passed directly to consumers. That's part of how they can offer the Model 2 for under $10,175, a price point that has sent shockwaves through the industry. And by using factories they already own and operate, Tesla is also strengthening the economic impact in American communities where those plants are based, preserving jobs, and in some cases even expanding hiring. According to data from industry analysts, Tesla is setting up two pop-up production lines in Fremont and one in Texas, which together will produce those 50,000 Model 2s by the third quarter of 2026. By avoiding the massive capital expenditures that come with new factory construction, Tesla is reducing costs by roughly 25% compared to traditional methods, numbers that are hard to ignore. And they're not just thinking about geography, they're thinking about demographics. This rollout is aimed squarely at groups that have historically been excluded from the electric vehicle revolution. Retirees on fixed incomes, young families struggling with high gas prices, and working-class Americans who have been priced out of EV ownership entirely. The Model 2 is not just coming sooner than expected. It's coming for the people who need it most. If you look at the cultural side of this, the significance is massive. American car culture has always been rooted in freedom, in the open road, in accessibility. For too long, EVs have been perceived as luxury items, symbols of wealth rather than tools for everyday life. The Model 2's accelerated timeline and ultra-low price tag changed that. They make clean transportation something everyone can consider, not just those in the top income brackets. Now, Tesla hasn't officially confirmed every date in the rollout, and some of the timeline is based on industry reports, leaked internal documents and historical patterns. But the convergence of supplier commitments, facility modifications, and executive statements makes the case too strong to dismiss. And when you realize you might be driving a brand new Tesla by early 2026 rather than waiting until the late 20s, the potential impact on your family's finances and lifestyle becomes crystal clear. So how does that sub $10,175 price make the Model 2 unbeatable? Let's start with the fact that this is the first time in American automotive history that a fully functional Tesla has been offered for a price that low. And it's not some stripped-down prototype or half-baked concept. It's a real car you can buy. While other automakers are still scratching their heads trying to figure out how to sell EVs under $30,000, Elon Musk just dropped a car that's nearly two-thirds cheaper. The secret lies in Tesla's build-your-own pricing model. The base version is ultra-minimalist, manual seats, no high-end sound system, no giant touchscreen, but it still has Tesla's engineering, efficiency, and safety. From there, you add only what you want, a premium display for $1,000 more, heated seats for $500 more. No dealer upsells, no bloated trim packages you didn't ask for, just your car your way. When you compare it to gas cars in the same price range, the Model 2 comes out way ahead. Sure, you could buy a Chevy Spark for around $13,600, but you'd be stuck paying for fuel and maintenance year after year. The average gas-powered car costs about $2,500 annually to run if you drive 15,000 miles. The Model 2? About $800 a year in electricity. That's a $1,700 difference every single year, which adds up quickly, especially if you're on a fixed income. Tesla is even sweetening the deal for seniors with a senior savings plan that offers two years of free maintenance for buyers over 65. That's worth roughly $1,000 based on 2024 service rates. And with a projected resale value retention of 65% after three years, compared to 50% for most gas cars, the Model 2 doesn't just save you money up front, it holds its value longer. The design is also clearly considerate of older drivers. Large, easy-to-grip door handles for those with weaker grip strength, a lower ride height to make entry and exit easier, and even a partnership with AARP that offers members 10% off supercharger rates, which is about a $200 annual savings. 
these are thoughtful touches that make the car more than just affordable, they make it practical for real lives. And then there's the China factor. The reason China can't believe this is because Tesla is using China's own strengths to compete on a global scale. By manufacturing the Model 2 at the Shanghai Gigafactory, Tesla can tap into the most efficient EV supply chains in the world. But instead of using that efficiency to dominate only in China, Tesla is using it to deliver cars that Americans can buy for just over $10,000 after potential federal incentives. This is a direct challenge to Chinese automakers like BYD, who have long dominated the budget EV market. BYD's profit margins in 2025 are razor thin, around 7%, which means they can't afford to undercut Tesla without bleeding cash. Meanwhile, Tesla's brand trust and safety record, especially with American retirees, is something Chinese automakers have yet to match. The ripple effect of Tesla's move could trigger an EV price war, with industry analysts projecting a 10% drop in EV prices by 2027. That could mean an extra $2,000 in savings for the average American buyer. And with Tesla aiming to deliver up to 300,000 Model 2s in the US by 2028, half of them to buyers over 65, the long-term cultural and economic impact could be enormous. China's disbelief isn't just about the math, it's about the message. For years, the narrative was that affordable EVs would come from China, while America would focus on premium models. Tesla just rewrote that script. And in doing so, they may have pulled off the most unexpected plot twist in the global EV race. The game has changed. And now it's your move.